laws, not sealing the border, but securing the border. And once it's secured, as confirmed by border states, not by Homeland Security, they can't be trusted, but by border states unanimously telling us, okay, federal government, we can affirm, we can certify the border with our state is secure. Then we can move ahead with immigration reform. Till that time, we need to quit talking about it. Anybody that's tempted to continue talking about it needs to go down to the border and see a three-year-old that got lured into this country because of that kind of talk. Just get here. Obviously, a three-year-old had someone convince them that they needed to try to get here and helped get them here. Wonder how many other three-year-olds got talked into coming along for the ride and didn't make it. Officials said many youths are fleeing gang violence at home while some are seeking to unite with parents in the United States. A majority of unaccompanied minors are not eligible to remain legally in the United States and are eventually returned home. Well, Secretary Johnson can say we need to dissuade more young people from trying to make the perilous trip across Latin America, or Central America, to try to get into the United States. But actions speak louder than words. And when the actions are that if you can just get to the United States, Mr. Johnson's Homeland Security will take care of you, will get you three hot meals, bed to sleep in. Um, if we can't find your parents illegally in the United States, then we'll find you some other parents. People are being drawn in. They know if their child comes in and is given a legal place, a legal status, then they'll be able to come in on the backs of their children's legal status so they can take care of them. So it's time to stop the luring of young children across the border by the activities of this administration. It's time for Congress to stop luring people across the border by talk of amnesty. It's time to stop. And as if that wasn't bad enough, um, here's an article from today from Breitbart by Carolyn May. It says the Department of Homeland Security has only requested that the State Department invoke visa sanctions against a country that refuses or delays accepting an immigrant facing deportation back to their own country once over a decade ago. Article says a State Department official confirmed to Breitbart News Monday that the only time the State Department invoked visa sanctions at the request of DHS was in 2001 against Guyana. Last week, the Center for Immigration Studies reported that an internal immigration and customs enforcement document revealed that last year, ICE released 36,007 criminal immigrants awaiting the outcome of deportation proceedings. According to ICE, many of the releases were mandatory, some as required by court cases, and it mentions one in which the Supreme Court held that the government cannot indefinitely detain an immigrant if there is, quote, no significant likelihood of removal in the reasonably foreseeable future, unquote. Over the weekend, CIS experts postulated that Secretaries of State Hillary Clinton and John Kerry bear partial blame for some of the 36,007 criminal immigrants released last year, estimating that 3,000 releases 
were mandatory due to the Supreme Court case because of their apparent failure to invoke a statute requiring the DHS secretary to request the Secretary of State to stop issuing visas to those countries that do not take back or delay taking back their citizens. There is a total breakdown in the protection of this country and our borders when it comes to enforcing the law. Now, there are some areas where the law is being enforced. There are some areas where Border Patrol are doing absolutely everything they physically can to enforce the law. But because the president's commitment is to having navigators as being more important than having Border Patrol, then we have a leaking sieve at our borders.